Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. As the 2018 Australian Open winds down, we're looking at the biggest surprises and disappointments of the year's fortnight. Surprise, Tennis Sandgren, world number 97, had won two ATP level matches in his whole career prior to playing the Australian Open. Sandgren doubled that total with a run to the quarterfinals that saw him defeat San Marinka and Dominic Thiem. Disappointment, Bernard Tomic. The Aussie didn't qualify for the main draw, and after he lost in qualifying, he went on a rant about how he's going to count his millions. He says he just counts money, that's all he does. He told reporters, you go do what I did. You go make 13 or 14 million. Good luck, guys. Bye-bye. Note to Bernard, it's not all about the money. Surprise, Rafa Nadal, the 16-time major champion, retired from a Grand Slam match for just the second time in his entire career. And none of us had any idea that he was hurting until he received treatment in the fourth set. Sadly, it all unraveled very quickly for Rafa in Melbourne this year. What a folly blow for the world number one, that is. And look at his reaction. Disappointment, Coco Vandeweghe. Not only did the American get knocked off in the first round by Tamia Babosh, she also picked up a $10,000 fine for screaming an obscenity at the Hungarian. Not a great look for Coco. Surprise, Yang Chung, the 21-year-old rolled past number four seeded Sasha Zarev and six-time champion Novak Djokovic in back-to-back -back matches. Then Chung took care of business and bounced Tennis Sandgren in the quarters to become the first Korean to ever reach a major semifinal. What a bright future for this young man. Disappointment, Alexander Zarev. He has two Masters 1000 titles and a top five ranking, but he has yet to make his mark in a major. After the Australian Open, he has still yet to reach the quarterfinals of a major. So yeah, we're disappointed, but we're not gonna be too hard on Zarev because after all, he's only 20. Surprise, Elise Mertens. The 22-year-old Belgian reached her first major semifinal and scored upsets over Daria Gavrilova and Alina Svitolina in the process. She looks to be a star in the making. Disappointment, Kristina Mladenovic. Full credit to the French woman for reaching the doubles finals, but Mladenovic's single struggles continued in Melbourne, where her losing streak reached 15 with a loss to Anna Bogdan of Romania. Surprise, Kyle Edmund. The 23-year-old with the booming forehand became just the sixth British male to reach the semis of a Grand Slam in the open era. Edmund stepped in nicely for the British and gave fans plenty to cheer about, despite the absence of Andy Murray and Joanna Conta's early exit. So how will players like Zara, Vandway, and Mladenovic respond to this disappointment? Can rising stars like Chung and Edmund back up their great runs in Melbourne? We can't wait to find out. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.